One of the most common questions that we get here at the Isle of Rassi Distillery is how do you best taste a Scotch whisky? Or how do you sample a cask sample? One of the cask samples perhaps from the warehouse here. Now you don't need a whole lot to conduct a good tasting. You obviously need your spirit. In this case, I have cask samples that I'm drawing for our virtual tastings. Um, these are all samples from the warehouse here behind me. You also want to have some water, water that you can taste between the samples to kind of clean your palate but also water that we can use to reduce, to add into the sample after we've had our initial taste of it. Now, clean room temperature water is preferred. I'm actually quite lucky here in that I have water that I have drawn from our well, the same water that we use to distill our spirit, the same water that we use to reduce to cask strength, and it's the same water that we use to bottle because we do that entire process here on the island. So I am guaranteeing that I really have the purest expression for when it comes to Rasse whiskey. And finally, what you need is a good glass. Now, you've probably seen one of these. They are Glencairn whiskey glasses, and they are a form of tasting glass. And in my opinion, they are the best form of tasting glass if you want to get the best experience tasting one of our samples. Now, we have used these here at the distillery for years, and I use these to conduct all the tastings, whether it be the whiskey here at the distillery when we're showing folks around, or I encourage folks to buy them as part of the virtual tastings. If you're ordering your pack from us, you can buy a Rassi Distillery branded Glencairn glass and have it sent down as part of your tasting. Looking at a Glencairn whiskey glass, you can maybe understand why this glass is designed the way it is to encourage these different stages of the tasting. For one, and one of the reasons I like it, it's very solid. It's got a nice thick base to it. It's then got this nice wide round bowl to actually contain the liquid. And then it kind of rises up to this fluted top where uh, you can kind of funnel the, the nose and the smell of the whiskey as the vapors rise up through the glass. Now, if we were to add a sample in here, this is how I would approach a tasting. Any one of the six cask samples, in this situation, I'm dealing with peated cask samples from virgin oak casks. It's actually one of the first casks that we try in our virtual tasting events. And when you pour this in, the tasting's begun. You add it in, and instantly, what you're looking at there is the color. Now, I try to hold the, the glass at arm's length. I try to keep it away from me just so that when I'm trying something for the first time, I'm not getting all that smell, all of the influence of the nose straight away. I want to really approach that best when I actually get to the nosing, when I actually stick my nose into the glass and have a smell of it. So for the moment, I hold at a distance. As we're talking, as we're moving it around the glass, it's aerating the spirit, it's mixing it around slightly. You know, if these bottles had been sitting on your shelf for a couple of days before the tasting, that's why pouring in and moving it around like this is quite good too. You can also get a few indications on the viscosity, the consistency of the spirit by looking at the legs and the way that it runs down the glass. That's why a nice clear glass like these Glencairns are great. You can look at the color, you can look at the way the spirit is behaving in there as well. Now, once you've had a chance to move it around, agitate it slightly, we want to nose it. Now, sometimes I'll go as far as to cover up the glass itself, just so that none of that nose is getting to me, because I think that first initial smell of the spirit is always the most important, the first impressions you're going to get. So I would maybe cover it up, move it around, or hold it away at arm's length, and then for that nosing, clear my head, focus on it, close your eyes if you'd like, and then have that smell of it. Now, you can stick your nose right in the glass if you like. That's what these Glencairns are good for. You can get your nose all the way in and it's not gonna be sticking into the actual spirit. Or like a, a chimney, you can just hold it underneath your nose and let those peaty notes, bit of black currant, dark cherries, dark fruits, that light peat note just rises up towards your nose. You don't have to go looking for it. Sometimes it could just come straight to you. You can already smell though that this is strong. Like I say, we know that this is a cask sample. You can actually sometimes get an indication of that just by seeing by the way it behaves in the glass and the nice clear Glencairn. And then once we've had a look at it, once we've had a nose of it, this is where we want to have a taste. And this is where I think the Glencairn is also very much superior to just a normal tumbler. And it's because we're dealing with cask samples at a high strength alcohol. What we want to do is just have small sips. We're not trying to drink the entire load. We're trying to have a, a drop on your palate, on your tongue, move it around, see how those flavors build up and change as you're doing the tasting. So these things are quite good. Most of the liquid is sitting at the bowl there and you can just draw a tiny bit along the neck and then into your mouth. Now, the final stage, in my opinion, 
is to add a little bit of water in. Now, this water is probably a little bit colder because it's been sitting here uh, in the warehouse. But what's quite good is to use some nice room temperature water that's not going to affect the flavor by uh, changing the temperature of it. We're just going to take a small splash of it. Just going to add it in there. We're going to mix it around. Now, this is almost like going straight back in with a new spirit. It's like a new whiskey all over again. The viscosity's changed, the colors change, the nose has changed, the taste has changed. And you've got to treat it that way. Each time you add a little bit of water in, you are fundamentally changing the makeup of the liquid in there. And again, that's why the Glencairn is great. You can see that color change. You can see the cloudiness and the viscosity changes the water's being added in. And you can smell such a difference in the nose. A lot more smoke, a lot more peat. That flavor, that sweetness is coming through. The smoke is actually coming through a lot stronger. If anything, it's opening up. Something to keep an eye on. Is it closing down? Is it opening up with the addition of water? And then, again, taste. Everything's different. Again, it's like a whole new whiskey. And that's where water is such a fantastic addition to a tasting. Because you can completely change your perception of the whiskey. You can change your opinion of how it tastes. You can get a better understanding, perhaps, of how it's going to develop in the future as well. And the Glencairn glass is just a perfect companion for that. Now, when I'm doing a tasting, I've got six different Glencairns. You can, of course, empty each one out, clean it out, and then use it the next time. But for me personally, a set of Glencairns in your house that you can use during a tasting is just invaluable. They're also just a really good thing to sit with and enjoy your whiskey with afterwards. A tasting is maybe a little bit more analytical. We're trying to understand it more. We're trying to get a perception of the whiskey. But afterwards, they're to be enjoyed. Whiskey is there to be enjoyed. And these glasses are also great for that too. Something that you can admire your spirit in, something you can enjoy and something you can taste as well. Anyway, I hope that gives a little bit of an insight as to why I personally love the Glen Cairns and why we use them at the distillery. If you are interested in joining one of our tastings, go to our website, rassydistillery.com. Under the whiskey tab, there is a section for our virtual tasting events. We do many of them per month. You can book on, we'll send these out to you. They are, like I say, samples drawn from these different casks that I am on right now. And if you want, you can add on a Glen Cairn as well have it sent to you. A nice bit of memorabilia from the distillery and also a good thing to use during your tasting of both our whiskies and any whiskies as well. But anyway, that's it from me in the distillery. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>